Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Uh, this is our weekly call we do with Doug Upstone, taking a look at uh, b various betting uh, situations for Major League Baseball. Uh, today is Thursday, May 15th, and right now we're going to take a look at uh, futures odds to win the World Series, the American League pennant, and the National League pennant. Doug Upstone, thanks for being back with us. Peter, my pleasure to be back here again. And yes, let's uh, take a good look at the American League, uh, see what teams uh, potentially ha have or are moving up and down the board and who might have some value. Start with the American League, and obviously the uh, the favorite is going to be the Detroit Tigers. And uh, you told me that most recent odds are a plus 250 at sportsbook.ag. It's probably a little bit higher at five dimes. And to my eye, I don't know. I think that might be the uh, the team with value, even at plus 250. What do you think? I, I would have to agree. You know, their their offense has really picked up. Yeah. Uh, in recent weeks, uh, they're back to uh, last year. They averaged 4.9 runs a game, and that's exactly where they're at right now. And then uh, they're pitching. They're only allowing 3.8 runs a game. So I mean, that's a better than a run uh, per game differential, which is really strong even this time of year. So that's I really like that. And then the other thing is, as they get their bullpen in line, mm -hmm. you know, I think you know their odds. Well, if anything, they'll just go down being in a weaker division uh, overall. And now that they've gotten off to a good start, which is the first time in three years this has occurred for them, I think they have the opportunity to possibly run away uh, you know, in this division overall. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Looking at the other choices, who can upset them? Uh, the second choice is Oakland. We'll talk about that them in, in a second. But then the third choice is the Yankees at plus 600. Give me a break. That's got to be way too high, right? Way too long. Well, exactly. I mean, you know, they're just feeding into what you know the, the public perception of yeah. the Yankees and the and the Yankees uh, batters just in general. I mean, you know, this team is middle of the road in runs scored. It's middle of the road in ERA. It's in terms of their pitching. This is a pretty average club, and there's really nothing that you look at as an indication to say they're going to really get a lot better. They're in a mediocre division, so they'll have an opportunity to compete in it all year. But uh, no, to me, I would I run from the Yankees at this yeah. price. And then uh, the next two teams are Boston and the Angels. And Boston, I think we throw them out as well. Their lineup isn't really uh, you know producing like it should. They have some decent arms in the starting rotation, but you know you know guys like Lester and Buckholz are getting hit. Those guys aren't uh, you know dominant starters right now. I think we throw out Boston, right? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, w I wouldn't put them in the elite group, that's for sure. But, I mean, I, I honestly, at this time, I would think that they can win their division. Like I said, I don't think the division's that good. But in looking at, you know, at, at true futures odds of a team that could win the American League, I'm hard-pressed to believe that that'll be the case with them. Yeah, and then the Angels, a little bit different, though. They have been playing pretty well this year, and, uh, you know, the lineup is producing. The starting pitching does have some uh, some arms that are that are. Uh, quality in it, uh, plus 650, what's your take on the Angels at those odds? Yeah, I, you know, I mean, the Angels right today, I can't say I'd put a wager on them today, mm -hmm. but, you know, if you if you want to take a, you know, a, a look down the road, I mean, this team is the top scoring team in the American League. They have four very good starters at this time. Their bullpen is a lot like Detroit, still kind of, you know, to be to be determined. But this team is an interesting team, and you know, and as as we've seen, just because the team has the best record in a uh, in a league doesn't mean they're going to be champions. Sure. So you know, there's some, I, you know some potential value here with the Angels, I think. So if you had to bet Detroit at plus two fifty or the Angels at plus six fifty, which you to take? I think I'll say I'll go first. <laughs> I think I would take the Angels just because of where we are in the season, and just because of all the randomness can happen, injuries, anything can happen with injuries. Then when you finally get to the playoffs, if things are the same as they are now, short series, anything can happen. And I think you take the Angels at plus 650 over Detroit at plus 250. What would you do, Doug? I think ultimately Detroit is the play. But it, again, if you're looking for some value, and if you think of down the road, head to head, uh, you know, four starting pitchers against four starting pitchers, if everything were, you know, equal today, uh, you'd have to say uh, the Angels could play with Detroit. All right. So, yeah, I would agree. And then uh, the other two top choices are Tampa Bay and Texas. And do either of those teams uh, have any value based on their current odds? <laughs> no, <Okay. laughs> just flat out. I, I don't like either team. They're both in, in, in negative numbers in terms of runs scored and runs allowed. I don't, in, in terms of an upside, Texas will get players back as the season goes mm -hmm. along, especially pitchers. So I think they have a little bit more of an upside. But in that division with Oakland and L.A. to compete, and Seattle's not going to be terrible, uh, I just don't see where, where Texas moves up. And 
uh, Joe Madden, like I say, he finally has a team that even he can't do as much with. Right. And then you have Oakland at plus 450 uh, at sportsbook.ag. Again, better odds can be found at uh, five dimes. Oakland, obviously a very good team. They should be the second choice, I think. Do they have value plus 450? I, the, I, I actually like this team a lot, and mm -hmm. uh, we'll talk about that in the World Series uh, few, uh, segment here. But I think this team, I, you know, myself, if I was to choose one team, I would choose the Oakland mm -hmm. as the team to win the American League. I think, they're, I think they're a complete team. I think the offense is better than what people realize. Everyone assumed when they lost two starters that that was going to be the end for them. It has not been the case. They've weathered the storm. I think they're a solid club. And uh, like uh, in their whole lineup, one through eight, they might have the best one through eight lineup in the American League. All right, so if you had to make a pick at these current odds right now uh, that has the best betting value, you would take Oakland at plus 450? Yes, I would. Absolutely. Okay, so thanks for your insights into uh, American League futures as of May 15th. And now let's move on to the National League.